So is this the evolution of your collaboration, from baby mamas to sisters? Or? Mm -hmm. No, it's nice to do another film together. We've, we've decided every seven years we're going to get back on screen together. Mm -hmm. um, but we've worked together in various forms and in very unique in different locations. Mm -hmm. But this is only, we've only made a few films together, so it's nice to be back doing that again. Mm -hmm. Is this the first time you've mud wrestled each or gook on film? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, on yeah. film. We used to do it for money mm -hmm. in Chicago. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> well, the first time you can see it. <laughs> what was it like for you both to um, get to collaborate with further former yeah. SNL colleagues? Oh, it's great. Yeah, we had Maya Rudolph and Rachel Dratch and Kate McKinnon and Bobby Moynihan and and. Uh, Chicago's own Ike Barinholtz, <laughs> all really just power comedy powerhouses, mm -hmm. extremely funny people, and uh, I think Tina and I share a very similar idea, which is comedy should have funny people in them. Yeah, uh, and and that makes the and comedy good. I'm not afraid to say that. Yeah. Also, uh, like Ike, Maya, you know, Rachel, Bobby, Kate McKinnon, they're all truly great improvisers. Um, a lot of, there's a lot of actors who like say they like to improvise when they kind of just say the words in their lines in a different order, or they just repeat their lines a lot. Um, and these guys can really give you new material just um, on the spot, which is a, a, a real gift. And between the two of you, there must be a lot of improv and um, unexpected moments. Uh, yeah, we were lucky enough, Paul Appel, who wrote the movie, she has this thing where she you know, wrote a million jokes in the actual script, but then she'll also sit on set while we're filming and she'll just think of new jokes while we're filming and write them on little post-it notes and hand them to Jason, the director, and if he likes them, he'll run them in. So then you're getting these gifts of these new lines to try, uh, which the other person hadn't heard, which so like, you know, she gives you this joke and then the way the other person responds is all completely new. Um, so that was a really uh, fun, fun way to do it. And we, we're just so used to talking next to each other. <laughs> We've done it a lot, so we we do, yeah. I do kind of we do kind of know each other's rhythms, which is important in comedy mm -hmm. to know. Oh, they're gonna stop talking now, right? <laughs> what is it like for you both to be icons for girl power for successful women in the industry? Well, that's very nice of you to say. Yep. I think we both uh, are very uh, pleased and grateful that we get to keep working and doing good work with people that mm -hmm. we respect, and we like being in control of that work. And, um, <laughs> and yeah, and we like being in control of that work and we are, um, want to keep doing more. And it's wonderful that if young yeah. men and women um, feel inspired by that, uh, we know that we looked up to a lot of uh, uh, men and women mm -hmm. in, in comedy when we were, mm -hmm. when we were starting out. Uh, so it's cool. I mean, it, it's, you know, it's just um, uh, there is a great, uh, there's a great thing about, just being specific to what you know and what you think you can do well that, that sometimes can feel universal. So we were kind of hoping with this film that that is the case, which is two specific sisters that could relate, that people who have sisters everywhere could relate to. And what award show are you going to co-host next? Because Eurovision. Eurovision Awards. Eurovision yeah. Awards. <laughs> we're going to do them. We're going to host them and mm -hmm. win them. And win them. <laughs> it's going to be the first time ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>